Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economic events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys. So currently as you can see the situation has, uh, has changed drastically in the markets, especially yesterday in the second half of the session. Although, well, starting on the Monday was uh, very good compared to our analysis and uh, market indeed has shown the downward action, starting downward action right from the level that we have specified and we'll show you a bit later. But as we said in our vehicle report, only some external strong driving factors could, factors could change the overall situation. That unfortunately not in our ability to predict such kind of the patch, uh, events and that was purely fundamental information. So as you know, first of all, the testing of the vaccine uh, on the COVID-19 was relatively successful. So at least the first results, positive results have, have, have been got. So that was the major factor because it has made an impact in all markets across the board. Gold collapsed. Uh, Crude oil is rallied, the stock market is rallied, so your currency as well. So the demand for the risky assets uh, has become stronger, the dollar has been collapsed in the current circumstances, and now we again should think about the strong confidence resistance on the monthly, monthly chart. So we, we, we recall that uh, we keep in mind the big long-term all-time resistance on the dollar index. And uh, well, every time when we get uh, events of this scale, very strong fundamental events that makes impact in all markets. We should recall about this this chart that we discussed in our reports. Second, this is specific for the euro, as you know that uh, France and Germany has approved uh, bond uh, bond issuing from the name of the European from the from name of the European Union, not just by some country, but from the uh, so issuer of the of the bonds will be European Union. For the 50, uh, 50 hundred billion uh, euros, and that should be set to, to support the economies that has got the major damage from the epidemic. That's first of all Italy and Spain. So that was very positive for the euro, and that has got uh, has provided additional uh, driving factor for the euro that just has got the two uh, double positive surprise. So investors were positively shocked by the news that have just dropped upon it. And uh, as you can see, its reaction stands on the market. So although uh, on uh, weekend when this price action has started, we said, well, uh, bullish setup mostly uh, as well as only theoretical, because on the background fundamental news that we have, it's really nothing to hook for um, uh, for, for the euro currency. It's no, no positive signs, no, nothing we had. And right on the Monday, there's a lot of uh, information here have appeared. First, it's come from the overseas. Uh, second, is uh, directly from the European Union. As you can see, market overall situation has changed totally. So all grabbers have been erased here. Market on the way up. And based on the daily chart, market is not that they were bad. Here is relatively free space. And it's definitely the first target will be around 1, 110 level. That's resistance that we've got previously. On the intra day charts, uh, we have a few targets and few uh, patterns that we could, could consider. Uh, as market still was able to hold this, well, long delayed uh, lows here, it was coiling around and it was seemed that everything is lost. Uh, market has shown rebound. So divergence has still become important. It is just taking out this stuff. So the destination point, guys, will be XOP, this minor A, B, C bottom pattern, rally up. Market already stands above the OP. Market is not at ever bad. There's no resistance levels. So relatively free space to the XOP. So market is coming to the 109.85, 109.10 areas will be XOP here. Also, you can see that CD leg is much faster. So I think that this level will be hit. On the larger scale, uh, I don't know what reaction will be on this resistance. Maybe market just will break it up. We consider this A, B, C bottom pattern. That should be market to the previous top approximately. You can see this will be one eleven area approximately. So this A B equals C D, and the kind of the bottom lines will be one twenty seven extension one ten eighty five. 
So this area stands very close to daily top around here. So it's high um, 110.18. We'd have the target 109.85. So that's approximately the same area. That's first level that we'll keep an eye on in today, tomorrow's session probably. Also, guys, a few words on the cable. Since the, we have the new reality, new, new data from the markets, new strong driving factors, we should uh, review the potential situation on the cable. If you remember, previously we said that probably we should be ready for the further drop on the background and news that we have. But currently, as you can see here, market has formed the person in the cloud passion, starting bounce up. And that has happened precisely at our OP target. Although on weekend and the weekly report was said that probably we should ignore it because of this acceleration. But this new factor is intruded in the, in the process and you can see the rebound. Here you could easily recognize the patching case. So not, finally, we were, following, we were just following to our trading plan. Uh, so we said keep an eye on the possible reversal patients. And now we could consider the hand and shoulders here. So market hits neckline. Now we need some pullback downside of this leg up. Here, that would provide us opportunities to consider possible taking the long position with the stars below these levels. So that's the uh, current situation that we have on the cable as well. So, as you can see, things currently changed fast. It's enough just to push in the news some uh, hot, news, uh, hot headline on some really breaking news. And Mark is just running in the opposite direction. Um, the one thing that guys were afraid to, that we are not ruling these factors, that we can't predict them. So we could take a look at the tech picture that we have. I mean, the technical analysis, we could analyze the fundamental background, but this uh, shock and trigger and the fast uh, impact of some news, unfortunately, is out of our control. So uh, also, Finally, the one, the one thing that, well, guys, despite that we've got this news, it uh, doesn't mean that the fundamental background that we discussed has failed. Absolutely not. Because fundamental background is just based on the economy statistics that we have from the economies and uh, in, in introducing the vaccine on, on the COVID-19, it doesn't change the difficulties that economies meet right now. And uh, overall situation still stands really difficult. So that's why I don't see a few reasons that to suggest that everything is becoming good and now it will see strong growth to the upside without any pullbacks. So that's currently it's emotional reaction on, on, on the use case. Let's see how durable this reaction will be.